Yeah, I heard about that already. But what if they decide to spill it to the papers? We need to start thinking now about covering our asses. I know people who can deal with this, but they'll need at least a week. Plus, if we want to... Lieutenant Stat, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I have Jack Boyd on the line. Who? Jack Boyd, sir. He's calling from the hospital. <sighs> Gibson, I'll call you back. Don't do anything without my team. Jack, well, wow. I didn't know you were awake. The doctor said you could be in that coma for months, even years. How are you feeling? Tell me who's in control, Martin. I don't think I follow you. For God's sake, Martin, tell me it's you running the department and not some stooge from the mayor's office. Uh, yes, Jack. I am performing the duties of the police chief, but the new man's coming on Saturday, Kevin Paulson. He... Kevin Paulson? Yes, it's the guy from the... I know who Kevin Paulson is. Now listen carefully, Martin. I'm coming back to work. I'm Freeburg's police chief, and it's gonna stay that way for another four months. Now you get on the phone and do whatever needs to be done. You run into any problems, threaten them with the media, court, or blackmail. But I don't think they'll give you any trouble. The mayor knows it's easier to just wait until the winter than deal with a scandal. Oh, and assemble a press conference. Listen, Jack, I know the truth is on your side, but you have to take into account- Martin, how long since you transferred to my department? Uh, coming up on five years now. How many times in the last five years have you come to my birthday party? How many times have you come to the farm when I had the boys over? Uh, never had the pleasure, but- Never. Because you couldn't care less. And I don't care for you either, Stet. It wasn't me who appointed you deputy, and uh, you wouldn't have been my first choice. But if you do ever come over to my house, you won't miss the big hole in my backyard. Garbage pit. You know, for old rubbish. A smelly hole filled with rotten furniture and other crap. So, Stet, if I even for a moment doubt your devotion, You'll go straight into that pile of trash. Maybe you'll get to catch up with some old friends. You remember Kendrick, don't you? I'll schedule the press conference for tomorrow, all right, Jack? The day after tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going shopping. <laughs>